Hey there, pupsters. It's Team Man here. Good to finally be back. Hope you guys didn't miss me too much. They didn't. Don't worry about it. It's cool. This week, we're actually covering some big news about the iPhone 6s backplate that Unbox Therapy had, as well as some really big news on the iPad Pro. Is there a reason you're, you're giving me yeah, your Yeah, talk to the hand. Okay. okay. So let's jump in with the big news about the iPhone 6S backplate that Unbox Therapy got last week. They actually went ahead and destroyed the thing to test its strength. The video showcases him, uh, Ben, testing the 6 and the 6S backplates, and the 6S did amazingly. Where the 6 bent at around 30 pounds, the 6S bent around 80 pounds of pressure. Now, mind you, the whole iPhone 6 itself bent at around 70 pounds. So just this backplate alone, is stronger than the entire iPhone 6. Yeah, basically he goes over the material, the chemistry of it, and a lot of the details about the new aluminum. So it's an interesting video, definitely check it out. Gives you an idea of how powerful the new iPhone 6S is gonna be. So Samsung has done something interesting to win iPhone users instead of just bashing them with commercials all the time. Uh -huh. <laughs> so they uh, announced this $1 trial program where if you have an iPhone and go to their specific website, we'll include it in the video, uh, you can actually select any Samsung phone uh, to borrow for one month for one dollar So you get to try it out see if you like it and it's supposed to kind of be like a test drive to see if you like it You might consider switching afterwards. Yeah, it's a really great marketing idea To, to try to get people who are kind of wary to put down like six seven hundred dollars into just you know Trying out a phone. They have no idea. They're gonna like like what if you've been uh, using iPhones like for years and you just have no idea what the Android platform is like nowadays uh, it, it, again, it's just a great idea to try out. I think it would be really cool if they did that on top of, I'm sure they have some trade-in program as it stands, but if they added a very specific new trade-in program, like after the 30-day trial, if you want to just switch your iPhone with this phone uh, and just pay like the difference, you can. I think that would be really a smart marketing move on their part. But yeah, it's really interesting because they're the only ones I've heard of that have yeah, taken such an first. initiative. Yeah. I mean, T-Mobile did do something like this with the iPhone last year, but this is like kind of way time. over. Yeah, it's like way over when it's it, it's the the company itself that's putting it out there. Yeah, and they have to because they've been losing sales to iPhone. The data's been coming in and they keep losing ground. So, uh, you know, desperate kind of times call for desperate <laughs> measures, but I love when competition does this. Mm -hmm. So time for this week's Quickie News segment. Quickie! Apple is working on releasing a new wireless keyboard and magic mouse featuring a much more energy efficient Bluetooth 4.2 technology and replacing the AA batteries with a rechargeable lithium ion battery pack. So the Apple TV actually fell to fourth place in media streaming services just behind Amazon Fire TV, which means Apple's really gonna have to push it when the fourth gen Apple TV is launched this September. In your last bit of Quickie News Pupsters, Best Buy is set to offer Apple Care and Apple Care Plus starting September 13th alongside their, uh, their own warranty. Yeah. So <laughs> and of course, you can find all these links in the description down below. <laughs> Quickie! So more updates on Intel's Skylake chips. Apparently the integrated graphics that come with the processor are capable of driving three 4K monitors at 60 Hz which is a big change compared to what Broadwell was able to do, which was only a single 4K monitor at the same hertz. Now, mind you, there isn't a single port out there yet that's able to handle th three 4K monitors. You will need multiple ports. Even the USB-C is only able to handle two 4K monitors at 60 hertz at one time. And Pupsters, that brings us to the most exciting moment of today! We're at our last news, <laughs> and that includes a new recent development on the iPad Pro. So, we're gonna have our Rafi, who's live at the scene at the supply chain right now, give us an update. What's going on there, Raf? Over hold on, and out. Hold on, hold on, please move out of the screen so I can, you know, cut it, edit myself into the supply chain. And I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so Ming Chi Kuo over at KGI Securities, who is a very reliable source of information, has stated that the iPad Pro will go into uh, mass production in mid September to October. Yeah, and uh, DigiTimes also reiterated that uh, rumor, and pretty much it's confirmed the mass production of this device is gonna happen in the upcoming two months. 
Uh, yeah, and KGI Securities Analyst also mentioned that there is a first party stylus that's going to be coming alongside the iPad Pro. Yeah, this stylus is coming because the iPad Pro is going to be a much bigger device with more screen real estate and, and it's going to have forced touch, so yeah. it'll make sense to make a pressure sensitive stylus. I personally think that the stylus is going to have some sort of attachment to the iPad Pro, not a, a physical section where you uh, slide in the uh, stylus, but more of a magnetic attachment. I would uh, assume something's going to be built in with their Apple's little case covers. There's going to be somehow that it magnetically attaches to it. I don't think it'll be with the, oh, like similar to the case yeah. covers, but I don't think there'll be a, a housing for it. I think it'll just be something that just ma magnetically goes to it. I think that'll be a smart way to design it and it's very Apple-like. Uh, unlike other devices where you slide it into the device itself. Mm -hmm. so. Now I can say, I can tell you this, I know a lot of you guys out there are probably thinking no this is not going to happen but I honestly believe it will because a stylus is a very big thing especially for a pro device if you're going to do so, anything in like the art field, the designer field, you really need that stylus. It's going to be competing with something like the Wacom tablets so I think it's actually a really good thing for Apple to Bring out yeah, there. Steve Jobs for a long time said, who needs a stylus? You failed if you've made a stylus because you should be able to use your fingers. But on a big device like this, uh, I don't think he ever had that in mind. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, a stylus that's accurate with force touch is going to be a good thing that'll be welcome. So it's kind of like all the pieces are coming together and it's the right time for a stylus. And finally, for those of you who are still skeptical about the iPad Pro being an actual product. Analytical company Apsi has found logs of a device browsing the web that's uh, labeled iPad 6,8 and it has a very high resolution, what we'd expect on an iPad Pro. Uh, also, there, it's running iOS 9.1, which coincides with what we'd expect to be on the iPad Pro when it launches sometime after the iPhone 6s. Yeah, many were expecting the iPad Pro to be launched alongside the iPhone 6s, but again, with these rumors and we, with these the new information about production not happening until the end of September, it points again to the fact that the iPad Pro is launching sometime in November. So we will probably see it for the holiday season. Uh, I'm assuming it'll be really, if it's going into mass production in uh, September, October, I think late October would be cutting it close, but definitely in November we will see the launch of the much rumored iPad Pro. So that's it for today's episode, Pupsters. Thank you again for joining us. Let us know what you think about the new iPad Pro and the stylus that's going to be included. Is it something that's really going to make you want to get that new device? And as usual, please help support the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing. And if you have any tech questions, feel free to leave them down below. We get to them as soon as we see them. And uh, that's it for today, Pupsters. Thanks for watching the video. And thanks for stopping by.